Hey, Sensi fans, it's Sarah from Sensu Serlin on Facebook. I'm going to bring you a bit of a different video today. Instead of as a Sensi consultant's point of view, I'm just going to come to you as a general consumer, a home fragrance lover, and a mom, I suppose. Um, so I've always loved home fragrance and since the beginning of time. I remember when I was younger, I used to like entertaining, not so much now. I'd always have people over, dinner parties, so on and so forth. Um, I don't know when I found the time to do these things because I worked full time and had two small kids basically by myself all the time. So I have no idea. But I loved entertaining. And I loved it when people would walk into my house and go, oh, I love the smell of your house. What is that? And I used to go, hmm, could be the 14 wall plugs. It could be the six candles I have going. Uh, you could just be having sensory overload and have no idea what you're talking about right now because I'd have a billion different gourmand fragrances burning or whatever it was. So I was a huge home fragrance fan. Younger, I'm not going to say ignorant, but um, naive. Maybe a little naive and maybe a little bit too trustworthy. Like when I'd make a home fragrance purchase only two things ever crossed my mind does it smell good and is it affordable and my girlfriends and I used to make trips across the border because Canada didn't have Bath and Body Works back then so we would make three four five trips a year to cross the border stock up on all of our favorite fragrances hand soaps we'd hit up Victoria's Secret all of the stores down there that we loved at the time um, weren't available in Canada. So we loved that. When Bath and Body Works came to Canada, I was like, yes, this is amazing. Guess how many candles I'm going to get? I filled cupboards, like linen cabinets full, shelves full of candles. And granted, those were back in the Slotkin days too. So they were really good candles. Um, The cat is literally standing on my desk and puking right now. Tatum! Oh. If it's not my crazy kids, it's my crazy animals. I apologize. So where were we? Okay, Slotkin days. So these candles were amazing. He is the king of home fragrance. If you guys are watching, you've never heard of Slotkin, like who he is. I mean, all the celebrities love, love, loved him. Um, Oprah Winfrey, even Princess Diana, like, he was the king of home fragrance. Uh, I think he joined Bath and Body Works in 2005, so my candle hoard was good, like, really good. And I have no idea, because I don't, I never really followed the home fragrance trends back then, but or the gossip or trends, whatever. Um, I have no idea why those ties were cut. So Slot can either left Bath and Body Works or they gave him the boot. I have no idea. Probably him leaving. Um, but Bath and Body Works candles started to go to the shits. Um, and I think like a lot of people are like, oh, well, it's because Slot can left. Well, Slatkin was in charge of the fragrance. I don't think he was ever in charge of quality control. Or, I mean, he wasn't in charge of manufacturing and why the candles burn like crap now. He was in charge of the fragrance. So he left, and then Bath & Body Works basically took whatever formulas they had from the Slatkin days and tweaked them a little bit or kept them the exact same and just repackaged them as something else. So it was super disappointing to go into Bath and Body Works from one season to the next and be like, this is whatever, but it used to be called da 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 back in the slide can days, you know? Um, and, and yeah, like I said, the quality control just went for the shits. This is White Barnes Mary Cookie, and I can't even begin to tell you what year I bought this in. Like, it's old. Um, but look at the pool on this. It's just garbage. And mind you, like, there's wax up on the sides because it was full of water. Candles have since been banished to the backyard in my home. 
Um, so there was water in it at one point. It looks like the girls tipped it. But aside from that, look at the set on the sides of the glass. Um, I have another white barn example here. It's not as bad, but this is fresh cut lilacs. The burn pattern is horrible. And look at the soot on the side of the glass. So again, back in the day, I wasn't thinking about anything except affordability and fragrance. And Bath and Body Works has got you by the short and curliest because damn, they make it affordable. With the coupons in my email, with the coupons every time I shop, with their semi-annual sales, they change their sales every 48 hours. So, you know, if you think this is a great sale, wait two days, it'll be an even better sale. So, this one, I can't even remember because the label is gone from this, it's so old. This one did have a better burn pattern, as you can see, and not so much soot on the sides. But, I mean, these are relatively made in the same year, around the same time. So, like, where's the quality control? There's, I guess there is a bit of soot on this, but... It's not good. And so as Bath and Body Works went downhill uh, after Slatkin left, it was super disappointing. But at the same time, Yankee Candle came to Canada, and I was like, oh, okay, we're good. You know, Bath and Body Works sucks, but Yankee Candle's coming to Canada, so that'll be an even better alternative. Um, I don't know about you, but Yankee Candle it sucked even worse for me. I mean, the candles smell phenomenal when you smell them on cold sniff, but when you light them and burn them, it might as well be unscented wax, if you ask me, and don't even get me started on their tarts. Like, I thought, oh, I really like it in the candle, but it has no throw. Maybe we'll try the wax tarts. I'd have better luck warming Ella's Play-Doh in my warmers than Yankee Candles wax tarts. So that was a super letdown. And mind you, my kids are like 17 and 13. Um, I mean, they're big girls. So it feels like when they were younger, it was a whole different lifetime. Again, I'm, I can't, I'm not going to disclose how old I am, but I decided to have another baby. <laughs> like, maybe she's my midlife crisis. <laughs> You know, some people get fancy sport card. I'm like, well, I'm just going to start all over again with the baby. Um, don't get me wrong. Love her to pieces. But I think I'm at a very different stage in my life where not that I was ever neglectful or wanted to harm my kids, but perhaps my ignorance or me being naive exposed my kids to a lot of things, my older kids anyways. So now, a little bit older, a little bit wiser, a little bit more patient, I've done my research when it comes to home fragrance and just candles in general. So when this is doing this, as a parent, you have to ask yourself, what is that? You know, if this is smoking or sooting that bad, that's releasing whatever's in here into my air. And back in the day, I always thought I had perfect air quality in my home. There was never any cigarette smoke here, and I had 100 plants. So that was good enough. I could burn 12 candles. No problem. Never put any thought into it. Never saw it as a danger or a threat to myself, my children, my guests. No, nothing. I was just naive. So now that I'm older, I did my research. A bajillion years ago, uh, they used to use petroleum to make candles. I believe it was petroleum, which is like the sludge off gasoline or something like that. So the government's like, no, 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 that's really bad. We, we can't let manufacturers put that shit in candles. So they're like, okay, let's use paraffin wax. Okay, that's fine. But research shows that burning paraffin wax releases fumes and soot similar to what you, like the fumes that's released from a diesel engine. So it's just as bad, if not worse, as secondhand smoke, apparently. 
that's crazy to me. I wouldn't smoke cigarettes in my house, but I'll burn paraffin wax in here. I wouldn't pull a diesel truck in here and rev the engine, but I'll light candles. And so I'm like, hmm. Grace, who is 14 now, and she was about nine or 10, developed very sensitive eyes. And I mean sensitive to the point that the, like, the steam rising from boiling water irritates her eyes. And she started complaining when these would black smoke that her eyes were sore. And I mean, I'm not saying that these are the cause of Grace's eye condition, but if boiling water bothers her eyes, no doubt that's gonna bother her eyes. Candles or burning paraffin wax has also been known to aggravate asthma and eczema. Thankfully, knock on wood, we don't have any of that. So, <clears throat> that's the wax. Now, let me get into the lead. In 2003, in the United States, they decided to ban the lead wax. And, you know, mm, duh, burning lead is probably not good for us. And I think Canada followed suit in about 2005. Yeah, that's not good. You know, we'll switch from whatever it is to paraffin wax and we'll switch from lead wicks to cotton. And that's great. But does that keep us safe? Yes, from Canadian manufactured candles. So as long as the wicks are made in Canada, they're going to be synthetic fibers, cotton, whatever. It's illegal to make lead wicks in Canada. The problem with that is we have no idea. This says this one doesn't say. Hmm. This one says Mary Cookie made in Canada. That's really strange. Oh, this one's made in the US. Where is this one? Sugared Candy Bunny. That's this one. Made in Canada. Okay. So, if these were made in Canada, then it is illegal for them to have lead wicks. But what does made in Canada mean? Do you think that this glass was made in Canada? Probably not. Do you think the paraffin wax was manufactured in Canada? Probably not. Nothing is. Which leads me to the wicks. Do you think these wicks were manufactured in Canada or the United States? Probably not. In China and places where they order the supplies, there's no laws against lead wicks or what they soak, like what chemicals they'll soak these cotton wicks in to make them burn. So all they have to do is order the stuff from a country who doesn't have strict laws and pour the candle here, put the wicks in, and then they're allowed to slap a Made in Canada sticker on it, but we don't know that the contents or the materials to collectively pour and make this candle were made in Canada. From what I can tell, generally speaking, Bath and Body Works are somewhat of a cotton wick there is metal, though, on the bottom, and I don't know about you, but if you've ever had one too many glasses of wine, before you know it, this is hot as hell, this metal piece, what's that made of? What are the wicks soaked in? We have no idea. And I'm not claiming that I know or have the answers to everything. What I do know is that I don't know, if that makes sense. So the, the biggest problem with the soot is essentially soot becomes, once it's airborne, it's like this fine particle air pollutant that is able to penetrate like the deepest, deepest part of our lungs. And it actually gets stuck in your lower respiratory tract. 
Like that's there long term. And studies show that in humans and animals, the soot and the effects include asthma, lung cancer, cardiovascular disease, uh, respiratory disease, even premature death. So I'm not saying burning one candle one time is going to kill you, but I was burning these candles for 10 years, 14 years, 15 years. Um, actually, what is it? Um, environmental... Whatever EPA stands for, um, Envir <laughs> Environmental Protection Agency. They did a study about, <clears throat> well, several people have done studies about lead exposure with children. But um, burning lead in a candle, and I mean, these lead wicks, you can still find them on our shelves. You might not be able to find them at Bath and Body Works or Yankee Candles, but I don't know about you, Winners, Marshalls, they've got a bajillion different candles in their aisles with name brands I've never heard of before. Look on the bottom. They're made in China. What are those wicks made of? What are they dipped in? What kind of chemicals? What kind of wax? Okay. So the EPA has done a study or done numerous studies that burning lead causes um, health and behavioral issues in children. And they also did a study that 45 minutes of a lead burning candle or lead burnt wick, 45 minutes is the meets a child's daily maximum of lead intake. And I used to burn candles for hours in my house and never once thought about it. I never once thought about what the wax was made out of, what the wick was made out of. I never once thought, you know, as long as nobody was smoking cigarettes in my house, I thought I had it made. I had no idea. So yes, now I'm a sensei consultant, but I don't even I don't even pitch this to people. I don't pitch anything to people to be honest. As a sensei consultant, I'm like, here, smell this. It smells awesome. Buy it. You know, um, I don't really start talking about sensei for safety reasons. I don't come at people preaching this stuff. Just because people are like, oh, she's giving me a sales pitch, you know? And I don't want to come across as that person. I don't even want Sensi to come across as that company, buy our stuff because everything else is dangerous. Like, that's just annoying as far as I'm concerned. Um, but candles are a danger, especially where I live. I live in the middle of nowhere, and these have been banished to the backyard for a reason. We don't even have a local fire department. So houses in this neighborhood, I should actually like take a video on the road <laughs> of houses in this neighborhood. They've literally burnt to the ground, or in my county anyways, they burnt to the ground before the volunteer firefighters get there. So this very candle could be a death sentence for me if my forgetful teens ever left this burning. You never know. So with Sensi, I do have the safety of knowing that it's not going to burn my house down. But I also don't lead with that when I share Sensi with other people. So these are the reasons why candles have been banished to my backyard. We do still use candles outside. And, and I get it why people love candles. Like, there is absolutely nothing like the ambiance of a candle. They're super romantic, get it. But you can also buy those flickering little tea lights from the dollar store and it's not gonna poison you. Uh, it's not poor for your health. It's not gonna discolor your ceilings. Um, you know, there's just safer alternatives. Even beeswax. I mean, beeswax is actually an air purifier. If you burn beeswax candles in your house, that's an air purifier. It also purifies your lungs. Believe it or not, inhaling burning beeswax cleans out all that soot and junk from your Bath and Body Works candles. So I'm not making this video to say buy Scentsy and buy Scentsy only. I'm just saying there's a lot healthier alternatives to Bath and Body Works, Yankee Candles, and whatever else is out there. 
And I know they make it look such a sweet deal with all these coupons and the prices can't be beat. I don't know how many times people have said to me, I love Scentsy, it's so good, but I stick with Bath & Body Works because Scentsy is too expensive. It just baffles my mind. So take the coupons away. Price point on one of these three wick candles at Bath & Body Works in Canada, say we're paying full price for this instead of all the gimmicky deals, these are usually anywhere between $26 and $30 each full price. And you get soot, air pollutants, potentially burn your house down, uh, the fragrance in it sucks since Slotkin left, the burn is horrid. So for 30 bucks you get this, but for $8 at Scentsy you get a tart that smells fantastic and doesn't come with any of this drama. To me, it was a no-brainer to make the switch over. To Sensi, Super Tarts, any vendor wax company, I don't care. But I think candles are soon going to be a thing of the past, and it's probably a good thing. If you like this video or like videos about home fragrance, hit the like button, subscribe, ding the bell, and once again, thanks for joining my channel. I look forward to making new videos in the future. Bye.